<laughs> Wait till you see the. All right, YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy KBZ. So yeah, today I'm just gonna be doing a Q&A and answering some of the questions that you guys asked. Which, by the way, if you don't already, go head over to my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter and give me a follow at KBZ the God. So yeah, uh, I screenshotted some of the questions and I'm just gonna be going through uh, and answering them. All right, so first question is from Lacey Morgan. Uh, she said, "Can you cook? Well, how do I answer this? I mean, honestly, I can't really cook. Like, I can fucking I can make like mac and cheese and like ramen and stuff, but like I can't really cook like for real, for real. I made chicken one time like on my own, and it was like it was alright, but my mom sort of helped too, but." Yeah, I can't really cook. All right, the next question is from Lambert Lacasse. He said, where do you see yourself in two years? In two years, I'm gonna be living in LA and I'm probably gonna have a few platinum songs and I'm gonna be one of the biggest producers in the game, hopefully, so yeah. All right, next question from Brookie. She said, I'm gonna kiss you now. And I'm going to kill you. Alright, next question from boy boa.marie4x. What? When did you start making beats and why? Um, I started making beats like almost three years ago now. Um, at the very end of my freshman year of high school, I think. Yeah. One of my best friends like got FL Studio and he was just like messing around on it and he showed it to me. I didn't really like it at first, but I also really started getting into future at that time. It was like a little bit after when Future dropped Evil. Um, and I really started liking like rap trap music so then i started making beats and i just fell in love with it so pod by young dez said do you have any tips to gain an audience on youtube or get your beats heard i'll just say be consistent uh upload as much as you can and just stay true to yourself you know what i'm saying i think especially when you're starting out doing anything it's sort of hard because you don't have a following and it's sort of hard for people to see the results so people might make fun of you you know kids at school or like whatever just people you know in real life might just like mess with you and stuff about it but I think the key is to just stay true to yourself and just be consistent with your uploads and your content or whatever it may be. Uh, not even just beats, just you can apply this to anything. If you're just consistent and you're, you be yourself, I think people will gravitate to it, so yeah. All right, so the next question, Odie.Sosa asked, how did you meet Ty? Oh, and if you don't know, he's talking about Ty James, which go follow Ty James on Instagram, at Ty James. That's an artist I've been working with a lot recently. Yeah, uh, Ty actually used to make beats and he used to like watch my tutorials and stuff on how to make beats. And one time he, he had like DM'd me about it asking me some stuff about beats. But yeah, so then fast forward a few months later, uh, after I had like responded to his DM the first time, like I had heard his music and stuff and I was like, yo, he's fire. A little bit later, like when I got the Chief Keef song uh, with DP, he commented on the post cause it was like 177 on the charts or something like that. Like on the Apple music charts, the Chief Keef song was like 174 or something. And I posted it on Instagram because that was my first time like getting on the Apple Music charts at least. Uh, so I posted it and then Ty commented like you could get a number one but you're playing with like a little eye roll emoji and then that night I set the beats and then uh, you know that's my brother. So next question from Will Haynes. He said KBZ chain that'd be dope. Yeah low key I might get one soon. I don't know I've been thinking about it. We'll see maybe in the future. Alright next question uh, from Prod by G7. He said if you weren't producing what would you be doing after school? Uh, I don't even know dog. Probably like playing video games to be honest. I used to play a lot of video games before it sort of went like I used to love skateboarding when I was a little kid like first second grade I, I skateboarded a ton the third grade to like sixth seventh grade I liked basketball a ton and then I started liking video games around seventh grade too so I don't know I think if I didn't make beats I'd probably play video games at one point I actually wanted to be a professional like CSGO player professional Call of Duty player I don't know maybe I'll be doing that I might still be doing YouTube just video games instead of beats so I don't know all right the next question from laslo.gsd he said how to deal with school and producing um, I don't know it's really hard especially this year since I've been dedicating so much time uh, into producing for me I don't see the point really in like doing something that makes me unhappy when I could be doing something that makes me happy and also makes me money so it definitely is hard but I think if you're not in a place where you can be 100% sure that music will work out and you're not already doing well off music you just gotta understand that school is a good fallback as well so you just gotta do both until you get to the point where your music is what you want it to be. Alright, the next question from Ayu Balal. He said, what keeps you going? I don't know, I, I'm just like a driven person in general, especially when it comes to things I'm passionate about. I think, you know what I mean? When I get into something, you know what I'm saying? I really just push like as hard as I can to achieve my goals. Now that I have my mindset on, you know, getting platinum songs, you know, producing hits, all that. And now that I've like gotten a taste for it too, just with what I've done already, I think it's just, I have no choice but to keep going. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I can't let myself down, you know? All right, next question from Clatter A Pan 27 What is your top goal that you want to achieve in the music industry? Um, I think my number one goal, probably to produce the number one song in the world, uh, I think, just because, I just think getting the number one song is like a crazy idea to think about because out of the whole world, out of seven billion people, your song was the most popular out of every song in the world for like that week in time. And I think that's just like, you know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's like above music. That's like, 
that's immortalized. That's like you're in the history books at that point. You know what I mean? So I would say producing a number one song. All right, next question from Mikey Katropa. He said, "What's your favorite place to eat?" That's a good question, honestly. I really like Chipotle. Especially during the summer, I was eating Chipotle like hella. Like, it got to the point where they literally knew my order in the Chipotle. Like, I went in, like, a few times. Like, the last two times of, like, the spree where I was just going there every day, they literally knew the order. Like, I walked in, they were like, you want a bowl with chorizo to go? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, I'd probably say that. But nowadays, it, it might also be, like, sort of Chick-fil-A. I really like Chick-fil-A a lot. But, yeah, uh, other than that, like, sort of, like, a nicer restaurant. I really like, uh, like, hibachi places, you know what I'm saying? Where they, like, cook out the food with, like, the fried rice and stuff on the table. That shit is fire. All right, next question from YB Jadu. He said, what guitar do you have? All right, so I got, like, a Gibson Les Paul. I don't really know the exact model. Um, I, like, just started playing, and I'm still learning for sure. And I think it's, like, some, like, 120th anniversary edition I don't know it's pretty fire I think it sounds dope um, all right next question from Brendan DeSantis he said what is your parents output on this music production career you are pursuing I mean recently they were like heavily um, behind me still going to school like for the past like year pretty much they've been telling me to go to school still they've always been supportive like shots my mom and dad because they really make it all possible they finally really understand like the scale of what I can do um, but yeah, they're like fully supportive because, um, you know, they let me travel on my own. Uh, I've been to LA, New York, and all these different places um, just on my own as a 17 year old. So shout out to them. Like they really do make everything possible. But yeah, um, especially recently, um, they're fond of me moving out and not even going to college uh, because, you know, they want me to chase my dreams. So yeah. All right, next question from Jaden Thiara. Um, did you ever think you were going to be where you are today? I mean, I don't know, that's like a weird question because obviously if you like, if you like look back at it, you know what I mean? Like to when I was a kid, obviously I can't say yes, I knew I was gonna like make beats. Like I had no idea that this was gonna happen really. But in terms of like once I started making beats, I mean, I haven't really even accomplished that much in my opinion yet. I've only done like 1% of like what I want to do in reality. But once I really started making beats and really started seeing progress, I, like I know that I'm gonna accomplish my goals just because that's how driven I am. Um, and I like won't accept failure, you know what I'm saying? So in a way, yes, but sort of no too, I don't know. All right, next question from AC underscore beats. Um, this isn't really a question, but you and Nick Mira really inspired me to produce music. That's dope. Uh, I love hearing y'all when y'all tell me that I inspire you to make music. Um, that's like the dopest thing to me. So yeah, I'm just glad that I can help you guys. All right, next question from Michael Ayadisernia. Do you have a plan B or do you only have your plan A in sight? I love you, B's and Tin. Honestly, I don't, I don't really have a plan B anymore. Um, obviously, you got to keep all your doors open. But for me, I think like nobody likes a half-ass, you know what I'm saying? Like if you just go through your whole life trying to worry about if this goes wrong or... Like what happens if I fail or whatever? I think you're just setting yourself up for failure because, you know, in my opinion, you attract what you put out into the world. Like, you know, people that are always negative and complaining and, you know, mad about their situations, it's just like, you know, bad shit just comes back to them because it's like they're looking for stuff to go wrong. So, I mean, for me, it's like, I'm just fully committed to music because um, I think in general, just if you look at anything in life, if you want to achieve something, you got to put your all into it. Like if I'm like 80 years old, right, and I'm about to die or whatever, 90 years old, whatever it may be, and I didn't fully commit to music and I never made it, I think I would would have regretted it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's something that I would regret. So at this point, I'm just going fully into music, you know? All right, next question from Alexis Somers 21 How do you balance school and your music? Are you planning to go to college? It's been really hard to balance school, especially this year, because, you know, like I said earlier, it's just hard to do something that pisses me off and I don't like when I could be doing something that I do like and also making money so I don't know especially this year cuz I'm in like all IB classes if y'all know what that is which is like really fucking hard classes so I don't really have time for anything but yeah at this point I actually am not planning to go to college um, I'm probably gonna move to LA in like July August some somewhere around there once I graduate next question from kill Austin underscore how hard is it to stay motivated in school right now so hard you don't even understand like it's a struggle out here for me to stay motivated but you know what I'm saying I'm trying my best all right next question from it's Tony boy do you live on your own if not when you plan on it um, no, I, I am still in high school, so um, I do live with my family right now. But yeah, once I turn 18 and graduate high school in May, um, then shortly after that, I'm going to move to L.A. Um, and really commit myself so yeah all right but yeah that wraps up the q a i hope you guys uh enjoyed i hope i was able to answer some of you guys' questions again if you want to you know maybe be featured in the next q a go ahead over to my instagram snapchat and twitter and give me a follow at kbs the god but yeah that's gonna be it for me thank you so much we are currently at 73,000 subscribers we're getting close to that 100k mark so if you're new hit that fucking subscribe button so we can get to 100k i love y'all hope you guys have a great rest of your morning afternoon night whatever time it is wherever you're watching and i'm out peace